Welcome to the next episode of 25 for 25, an online exhibition highlighting collections and materials held by Archives and Special Collections at the University of Connecticut. Today's episode addresses one of the fundamental issues of our time, our democratic form of representative government and how the Archives actively participates in our democracy and supports one of its fundamental principles, accountability. After all, Ours is a, quote, government of the people, by the people, for the people, unquote. As such, the individuals who represent us in town halls, state houses, and Congress are accountable to those who sent them there. And the political collections held by Archives and Special Collections are here to assist researchers in studying the who, what, when, and how our congressional representatives conduct the people's business. As representatives of the people of Connecticut, the purpose of our congressional delegation is to work with their colleagues to legislate on issues of concern to their constituents, with the understanding that, as members of Congress, they are responsible for public resources, and those resources should be used to benefit the greatest proportion of the public as possible. It is the responsibility of the constituents to know what and how their representatives are fulfilling those responsibilities. Access to the congressional records serves both purposes. Archives and Special Collections at UConn believes that we have a responsibility to support the rights of citizens to hold their elective representatives accountable. We do this by collecting, or providing some other type of access when necessary, to the working papers of Connecticut's congressional delegation. The papers of members of Congress unlike those of the President, are considered personal property. We meet with and actively encourage members to consider donating their records and have been successful more often than not. Congressional files contain research and background materials on issues, correspondence to and from constituents, organizations, and lobbyists, scrapbooks, clippings, photographs, and lots and lots of memorabilia. This is all in addition to the legislative and committee records, not to mention travel and case files. So what are some of the issues and concerns? Members' papers have documentation on issues such as clean water, acid rain, AIDS, arms control, and that's just a few of the topics. There are also international issues such as the ratification of international agreements and researching and collecting background and supporting materials to bolster a position, work with or persuasion of colleagues in the House and Senate through meetings or dear colleague letters, on legislation such as the Native American Grave Protection and Repatriation Act. Researchers may also find drafts and markups of proposed legislation. And then there are the times when we look to our representatives to fight for us and with us. Constituents and representatives have reciprocal communication responsibilities that frequently take multiple forms. These are reports of all issues Connecticut residents have written to their congressmen about in August of 1984. And copies of members' responses to constituents' correspondence from other years. There's evidence of our representatives coming home to inspect damage in person and working with appropriate government agencies to prevent it happening again, networking with colleagues, and working with constituents to respond and advocate for changes for the benefit of their communities, members' attendance at local events and their speeches or issue statements on their positions are also documented in their papers. To stay in touch with their constituents, representatives issue regular newsletters or broadcast interviews with colleagues from neighboring states about shared concerns. By consulting calendars, researchers may also determine who was meeting in person with their representatives and learn about the topics discussed and whether those discussions actually took place. Some members even keep journals or daily diaries as part of their personal collection, offering a uniquely personal perspective and insight to their work. 
There are opportunities to connect with your representative during the regular campaign cycle for election or re-election. It is a time for the voters to connect and decide which candidates' work and interests best reflect their personal concerns on the issues. The value and merit of retaining documentation of Congressional service was underscored by the passage of House Concurrent Resolution 307 in 2008. The resolution declares that papers of members are, quote, crucial to the public's understanding of the role of Congress in making the nation's laws, unquote. The resolution, which was also passed by the Senate, emphasizes that these, quote, papers serve as essential primary sources for the history of Congress and document vital national, regional, and local public policy issues. Although it is a personal decision, it is for the benefit of the public as a whole if these papers find a home in a repository. Those that represent the residents of Connecticut are accountable to the voters, and in turn, the citizens of the state have their responsibilities as well, to hold the Connecticut delegates accountable for their actions. Together, the citizens and their representatives uphold their responsibilities and actively participate in our American democracy. Thank you for taking the time to explore our congressional collections, and I hope you'll continue to follow our 25 for 25 digital exhibition.